Welcome back, ladies. Uh, this is the Alumni Center. This is the Griffith Alumni Atrium. Lots of oh, historic cool. photos up there. You might recognize some familiar faces. Or Take a look in here. This is a Wooster Celebration Hall. Hey, Mike. Hey, could you? Oh, hey, honey. A, you missed a spot right there. Oh, sorry about yeah, that. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that. Hey, Mike, what are you doing here? Well, Jill, I have other duties and responsibilities, and since none of you return my texts or calls anymore, I like to come over here and hang out at the Alumni Center, so I run into a few of you women's basketball alumni. I mean, we have lives, you know. Yeah, we have careers and kids of our own now. Well, not all of us. I'm still working on it. The career, that is. Well, you guys realize, I mean, I have an award-winning show now, and I'm kind of a big deal. What? Yeah, no, we're not aware of that. Really? I've never heard of it. Is it a show on cleaning? No, it's not a show on cleaning. It's a lighthearted question and answer show where our fans, boosters, alums, get an opportunity to learn more about our program, our student athletes, our coaches. It's quite a big thing. Maybe we could be on it. Yeah, yeah that'd be awesome. really good. Cool. Cool. Nope, sorry you guys. I've got cleaning to do. Hello again, Jackrabbit fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of Jump Shots with Jewett, a.k.a. Jump Shots with Dr. J. Now that I've finished my chores at the beautiful Alumni Center, let's get started with today's show. Joining us are four Jackrabbit women's basketball legends. Jill Young, Sergeant, Class of 2012. Carrie Young, Class of 2017. Clarissa Ober Lyseth, Class of 2017. And Maddie Giebert, Class of 2019. Jill, you're going first. Let's get started. Let's start with an easy one, a layup, if you will. Give us an update as to what you're up to nowadays. Um, I'm living in Dayton, Ohio with my husband, Clint Sargent. We have three kids, Gracie, CJ, and Jordy, and um, that's it. Perfect. Knock it down. That way. Carrie, what have you been up to? So I'm living in Arizona, working in sales. Very nice. Holmes, give us an update. Uh, live in Brookings, working at 3M. Madison? Live in Sioux Falls, finishing student teaching, marrying, getting married in July. Cool. All right, Jill, best player to play at the Corn Palace? Lori Mello. <laughs> I like it. Carrie, did you like to play dress up when you were a kid? I did. Mm hmm. Clarissa, how excited were you after going coast to coast against Northern Illinois in the WNIT game? Slightly excited. Very excited, if I remember correctly. Maddie, Who's the best shooter in the gym right now? We're all the same. <laughs> We're not all the same, Madison. <laughs> I am. Could you remember any route besides the interstate when driving from Mitchell to Brookings in college? I-90 all the way, baby. Carrie, did you ever kick the ball into the balcony of Frost after losing a pickup game? Yes, just once. Obes, as a freshman. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Olds, as a freshman, did the coaches believe you're going to be a two time defensive player of the year? No. <laughs> Maddie, did you prefer a short or long sleeve shirt under your uniform in college? Long sleeve. Jill, are you a better shooter than your husband? Yes. Carrie, are you still interested in younger men? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Oh, in high school, what was your typical pregame meal? A Diet Coke and a pickle. Maddie, approximately how many knee pads did you go through in high school? Or college, I should say. God damn it. Cut! <laughs> Maddie, approximately how many knee pads did you go through in your college career? At least 100. Jill, what former Hornets great did you drep up, dress up as for Halloween? Alonzo Morning. Carrie. Is it true in college you wore tennis shoes when you took a nap? True. Clarissa, at SDSU your nickname was Oats. Why did they call you Claw in high school? I don't remember actually. <laughs> Maddie, was your first visit to Santa happy or sad? Very sad. Jill, how old were you when you filled up your car with gas for the first time on your own? 18. 
Carrie, would you rather play a basketball game in Frost or the Corn Palace? Ooh. Frost. Well, when was the last time you wore a floral dress? Never. Mmm, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Maddie, is there any significance in your wedding date being July 11th? No, actually. This one was available. Jill, is it true that one day in high school your car ran out of batteries? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> uh, yes. Carrie, who's the best young to play women's basketball at SDSU? Jill and myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a decision. Well, who had the better career at SDSU? You or your dad? Me. <laughs> no hesitation. Nope. Maddie, when a guy asked you for your number in college, what did you give him? My basketball number? <laughs> I'm assuming that's what he wanted. Yep. <laughs> All right, Jill, do you have a favorite AJ quote, memory, or experience? Um, quote, uh, figure it out. Carrie? So one time in practice, the ball went through my hands and I missed it. And AJ said I probably would have catched it if Sparkles were on the ball. Um, Over. He called this DQ soft serve. DQ saucer. Madison? One time he was really mad at Macy and Carrie, so he told me to take one of the Mitchell girls out, and I did, and then he asked me why I took out that one. Very nice. And finally, we used to end game day shoot arounds with half court shots. Do you think you have any half court makes still inside of you? Yes. Let's give it a shot. All right, do it. Okay. All right. young for three. Oh, very nice. Young for three. Oh. Over for three. You guys are right on line. Gebert for three. We were doing so well. All right, and that concludes another fabulous episode of Jump Shots with Jewett. Special thanks to Alumni Association President and CEO Andy Foberg, as well as these four Jackrabbit legends. And as always, go big, go blue. Go Jacks. Let it rain. <laughs> <laughs>